up until this point, up, up until this point, I've done uh, done this little class in uh, in real time. Now, for the sake of everybody, I'm going to do basic elements of what I'm doing of the procedure, and then I'll anything that's significant, any significant changes that I that I uh, I make in procedure, will go back on to that. Uh, we'll show you that. Otherwise, it can take forever for you, and I'm sure you all have better things to do. Anyway, so what I've done up to this point is I filled in, uh, it took me a couple of minutes, filled in just this basic forehead area with some color. Now I'm going to identify some of the, uh, some of the significant highlights. I'm going to do that just with turpentine. I clean my brush and uh, and now I'm taking paint off while it's still obviously wet uh, with, turp with turpentine. These are areas that I'm going to lighten up. I'm identifying at this stage, right at the moment, uh, just some important highlights. There's some right at the brim of my head because the light is, is coming directly down on top of me. I have a very strong highlight right there and, and where my my eyebrows are, I also have, or you know this, whatever this is on my forehead, is uh, above my eyebrows, there's a strong highlight coming down on that. So I took a little bit of paint off, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take some light paint, some of my light base, and I'm going to apply uh, some light color on there. I hope this is showing up all right. Um, Now whenever you feel like you have too much paint in a particular area, and I mean quantity of paint, and, and you want to get rid of it, just very gently dab, dab that area to keep the consistency of paint on the, uh, on the canvas the same, especially in these early stages. When you want to ad identify later on very strong highlights, then you can allow the paint to get heavier give it more body, but right now we're just in the drawing process. Okay. So what I'm really starting to looking looking for right now is is this about the right size? Am I, are these dimensions here and here? And the feeling of the dimensions that I'm going to have between where my, eye, my, my the side of my cheeks and my temples are, those are measurements that I'm paying particular attention to right now. Uh, so far they look all right. And I say this sort of casually because I know uh, as I go here I'm going to be fooling and jiggling the, this drawing around. And, uh, but for right now it looks okay. I'm having a, couple, a question in my mind of Maybe the actual size of, of this headpiece may be a little bit larger than I want it to be. So I'm thinking oh, I might want to cut that down. And so that's in the back of my mind too. Okay? Cut. <coughs> and right at this stage I've, I switched to another brush. It's more of a fine pointed drawing brush. Um, the reason I've gone to that is I'm getting ready to move down to the eyes. and. And so I have to be very careful and a little bit more line oriented. I'm looking for the relationships between where my eyes are going to be and the and and where my hair is going to begin encroaching into the in the side of my temples. And so I'm I'm just sort of looking for this whole area, making sure it's right right now. Uh, so you'll see me make some some sort of uh, precarious little changes, and I do that just to, according to how I see, I'm seeing it at the moment. You always have to be aware of that, especially when you're sitting close onto a painting, that your your actual um, visual impression of what you're doing alters from moment to moment. That's why I look back in the mirror and check it, make sure I'm on the right path there, make sure it looks okay there. I look in the mirror, I look here, and I'm just starting to get a, a real feel for
for it. And still, at this stage, that's what we're doing. Okay, now I'm going to move it down with it. I'm taking a darker color. And I'm trying to, uh, I'm going to identify where my eyes are. I know that I already have it in here in charcoal, and uh, and so I'm I'm going to utilize that space. I'm going to use that space because I still feel comfortable with it. And uh, all I'm all I'm doing now with color is I'm, I'm adding some uh, some dark to imply the shadow area. You notice I'm not sitting here. I'm not drawing my little eyeballs and all that. I don't care about that now. That'll come later. What I want to do now is, uh, what I'm doing now is identifying just the right space. See if the right space is there. I don't want to begin any detail until I know the details in the right place. You don't want to put the eye over here, do it perfectly, and realize uh, it doesn't go there. It goes over here. You know that's that's what I'm doing right now. All right. 